In this video, intracerebroventricular and intravenous injection methods will be demonstrated in neonatal mice. For intracerebroventricular injection, the anesthetized mouse is first placed on top of a fiber optic light source to illuminate the sagittal and transverse sinuses. The inoculum is then carefully injected at a point lateral to the sagittal suture and rostral to the coronary suture. If performed correctly, the inoculum will be distributed first in the injected ventricle and will eventually reach the other ventricle. For intravenous injection, the mouse is secured to a transilluminator in such a way that the facial vein is exposed. The inoculum is then slowly injected directly in the vein and becomes distributed systemically. The implications of these techniques extend toward therapy of many diseases and disorders because they allow for the optimal placement of therapeutics. The ICV technique provides a means to cross the blood-brain barrier, while the IV technique allows for systemic therapeutic delivery. First, prepare the injection solution in a microcentrifuge tube. In this example, the inoculums contain tripam blue for better visualization of the injection site. To inject mice, use a sterilized and calibrated glass micropipette needle attached to a series of plastic tubing gradually increasing in diameter and ending in a 3 milliliter plastic syringe. Using flat end tweezers, break off the tip of the glass needle so that it's 3 millimeters long. This will allow at least 2 millimeter penetration into the brain. Carefully load the solution to be injected into the glass micropipette needle by placing it diagonally in the microcentrifuge tube and pulling on the syringe plunger. Stop. 